Hey there, YouTubers! This is Super Mosh 1990, and I want to do another update on the on the Wii U, N Nintendo Wii, U, whatever you want to call it. Apparently, according to Go Go Nintendo dot com, they have a list list of rumors and facts. Rumors and and I will read off the list of these rumors and facts right here and right now let's see here first one is rumor insider claims that that we you name is unlikely to change Apparently, someone is claiming it's not likely that that Nintendo will change it. I have to call BS on that rumor. Total BS. I think Nintendo, if Nintendo has truly learned, learned their lesson from 3DS, they need to change the freaking name. I can't think of anything to say about that, but Nintendo needs to change it. Rumor number two. Insider has seen something green and white relating to Wii U. Probably casing or something like that. Who knows? But... I say green's not such a good idea. I think we should just get black and white. I just don't see that happening in Flash. It'll prove further that the Wii is more childish. I don't think Nintendo wants the hardcore things that are child childish, so. Black and white should be the colors of the console. Should be. Fact! Peter Moore, quote, quote, Peter Moore, Peter Moore of EA said, quote, its online capabilities are really extensive to, so, so we'll, we will be able to di differentiate ourselves from the competitive competition more easily with our sports lineup. End quote. Fact number two. Sega Australia employees LinkedIn profile developing downloadable license and original IP for Wii U. Gatehub is, is already prepared. Fact number three. Yeah. Um. GameStop is already prepared to help launch the first of these new consoles. Nintendo Wii U. Nintendo's Wii U. As it, as it po po posited Poised to be the name, the first new machine out of the gate. The Wii U will mark the beginning of a new hardware cycle, and GameStop has already reserved its launch strategy to take advantage of the eventual spike in hardware sales. Rumor number three. Nintendo's Wii U trademark issue in England is most likely cleaned, cleared up. Rumor number four. Four, 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 four. Seems indie studios 
Empty Clip Studios, Groove, Groove and Blocks, and their Rapid Fire Engine Multiport are on Wii U. Rumor. Fact. The, fi the fourth and final fact. Number four. From the profile of TT Fusion Lego City's uh, art programmer, this is going to be the exclusive launch title for the brand new Wii, Wii U and Wii 2. Odd. Also, three, three, four artists working on Lego Cities. I would like to note, please take these rumors with a grain of salt. Just take some of these rumors with a grain of salt. If you don't know if they're true or not, we'll all find out in a couple more months. And also, if you have not already, this is message is for all Nintendo fanboys and whatnot, or people that like Nintendo in general. It can be people like Nintendo in general, too. not just fanboys, but yeah. On Facebook, there is a group called Ultra Ultimate Nintendo Gamers. That's a group, big group about like talking about like what exactly. What exactly we want to talk about Nintendo? Their games, news, even start up some tournaments or get some new friends on your 3 3DS or Wii. Who knows? Please join. And I also have a Facebook page about it too. Just I'm pretty much gonna run that and keep the news. But digital green tea, DG. DGT runs the group, so I'll have a link to the page and also have a link to his channel. So I'll make sure he sees this and I'll catch you guys later. A peace.